Hey everybody, it's Jason Holland with Jason Holland Fishing here with Mike Parsley for the TWRA. We're going to show you how to pour your own jig heads. It's a great thing to do this time of year when it gets cold, you're working in the shop. We'll show you how you pour them, tools that you need. Come alongside, enjoy the video. All right, so today we're gonna uh, pour jig heads and uh, these are swim bait jig heads and what you have to have is a mold. This is a do it mold. Do it uh, produces several different style molds. You can, you can make jigs, you can make swim bait heads, pretty much make anything that is sold fishing equipment wise that is made out of lead, you can buy it and make it yourself. You can see it makes a very specific type of head. The mold tells you what style hook goes in it and any other the other components that is required by this mold. Yeah. And they also, what's really cool about these molds is that they actually break down multiple sizes. So depending on the mold that you pour, you can get anywhere from a 16th ounce all the way up to two ounces, depending on, again, what type of lure you're making. Uh, but this, based on the size of hook and how much lead goes on that hook, it'll determine the amount of weight. So it gives you uh, the angle, the opportunity to turn around and ultimately get really picky and really precise on the uh, weight of your lure that you're making. That's right. And so to actually make the jig head, all you need to do is put the hook in the mold and any of the other components, put it in there and close the mold up. Have a, a lead melting pot. You put the lead in there and turn it on. It melts the lead and you put the mold up under the pot. Pour the lead into the mold and wait for it to cool off. Once it's cool, it only takes takes a second, you can open it up. Yeah, what's really great is remove that. This extra part is called the sprue. You actually just take a pair of cutters, cut that off, and then you got a finished bait. Now it gives you some opportunities if you want to take them, powder paint them. Uh, from there you can add eyes, a lot of different customizations that you can do, but this basic setup, you don't have to paint them, you do anything you want to. Uh, you get a mold, you can get a melting pot, uh, and all in you're talking maybe 100, 125 bucks and you're out making your own baits. And there's something really satisfying about taking raw components, making your own, and then ultimately catching a fish on it. It's just a great sense of satisfaction of you're taking something that you've made, and then you're actually turn around and producing fish with it. That's right. So you can make dozens of these jig heads in no time, and uh, you did it all on your own. 